Guys, we need to talk. Look what they did to my boy. <laughs> what did they do to you? <laughs> uh, what would Amy think? Oh God, don't even make Amy. Please don't make any of the other Sonic characters, please. Guys, we need to talk about the Sonic movie. I'm conflicted. All right, that's my view. I'm conflicted. I'm not angry. I'm just... Well, I'm not happy. Let's say that. So I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but they released the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer that will be coming out this year. And I'm a little like, I'm not gonna lie. I, like, you know, I mean, looking back, I mean, we, we saw those meme pictures that made Sonic look like a deformity. And that's, you know what? It was a little scary if I'm being really honest with you, because he, he just, you know, that was not a great promo picture for Sonic to begin with. But now with the trailer out, and now we actually see Sonic in action, it's a lot different than how I would think. Now, I'm not gonna watch the trailer again and I'm not really gonna show you guys the trailer but I'll show you clips you know what I don't know how I feel now this, this is like something that Hollywood does a lot right Hollywood likes to take something and make it their own they like to you know take a character and somehow kind of make it something else but still keeping the quality of what that thing is and you know yet again we see that in Sonic and when we look at Sonic I let's just show a little quick clip of Sonic running up the road actually let's watch it together Gotta go fast. Like, okay. Yeah, like, I man, Sonic, what? Sonic, man. What did they do to you, Sonic? <laughs> so I find it really hilarious that people on Twitter have actually gone out of their way to fix Sonic. And the funny thing is, the director of Sonic actually said they're going to change the design of Sonic. So there is some hope, okay? There is hope, I don't know if you knew that. That actually just came out, I think, today. But the, the people responsible for Sonic and, you know, the director came out and said they're gonna hopefully have that fixed for the release. But like, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I think the problem with Sonic is he looks way too different. And I think that's just a problem for a lot of people because, you know, gaming movies have been, there's a curse with gaming movies where they just don't work out the way they should. And I think it's really personally hard to put an entire gaming franchise story into one movie to begin with. But to do it right in a way that it like impacts people and it still gets that like, you know, that from that gaming series, I, I think it's challenging. That's why I'm not, but I'm not conflicted as much as I thought I would be with this. Because Sonic, you know, I mean like, well, for one, they're gonna fix him, so whatever. But I wanna talk a little bit about Eggman. So let's, t let's look at the clip of Eggman when he gets introduced. Jim Carrey's gonna save this movie, okay? Jim Carrey is for sure gonna save this movie. Like, I guarantee you 50% of the people that are gonna wanna see this are just going to see it for him. And you know what? I'm probably gonna be one of those people. I mean, if Jim Carrey wasn't in this, I'd probably feel really weird about going. But I think it was interesting that they cast Jim Carrey as Eggman, to be really honest with you. You know, so the Sonic franchise is serious, has a serious story, but always has had, has had its comedy, right? And Eggman is a, as a villain, he is a villain, but he also has this comedy sense to him, you know? And I think they really portrayed that this guy has like all these crazy, the crazy tech. And if we haven't shown that yet, look at that. Look at that truck. Look at that, like, drone thing that comes out of the out of the car or whatever. Like, I, I think I, I see some promise in that little interaction. It's really, it's still really hard to look at Sonic, though, sometimes. Like, Sonic, when I look at Sonic, I think a rocket raccoon for some reason. It's just really weird. I think we're getting into a really weird, like, time now with movies where th movies are getting really, like, uncomfortably real looking. And we're just making things really real. And it's like, oh my God, like, don't get me wrong. It's pretty cool, but yeah, I don't know. I really think Jim Carrey was an interesting choice. And they actually do show a clip at the end showing, you know, Dr. Robotnik or, you know, Eggman. And um, I don't know what happens, but he does look pretty good for this. And that's why I, that, and that's again, why I feel, you know, I, I feel really weird about this movie. Cause it could be good. It could be, it could show promise. Perhaps it's a good movie and we're, we're all just judging too quick. I mean, look, <laughs> It's got, a, like, with a budget like G-Force, y'all remember that movie. You know, 150 million put into this. 
That's a lot of money. So let's hope for the best. That's all I can really say. But I wanna know your thoughts, okay? Because I love Sonic. Again, I grew up with Sonic and everybody's got their opinions about it, right? But as somebody who actually grew up playing the franchise and seeing this movie, it's like, is this the beginning of something? Is, is this the beginning of like more games coming to the big screen in an ultra realistic way that people are not a fan of? Is this the start? I really wanna hear your, I, I wanna hear your opinions in the comment section below. But until then guys, we're just gonna have to wait until the movie comes out and talk about it then, I guess. And I don't really ever do movie videos. I don't even know why I felt compelled to do it, but I just feel like I had to get my opinion. I don't hate Jim Carrey as, as Eggman. I definitely think Sonic needs a little tuning up though. But guys, thank you for watching. Again, let me know in the comment section below what you think and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, until next time, take care and have a great day. Gotta go fast. Thank you.